Hello and welcome to the Inspiro External Update, April 2021. I am your host and Inspiro Catalyst, Jorian. This series of videos is here for the people who are interested in Inspiro, who want to understand what is Inspiro and what does Inspiro do. Uh, this is less about the dreams of Inspiro and the, the, the philosophy of Inspiro, and much more about the practical sense. What do we talk about? What do we write about? What are the things that are happening inside the network right now? There is a very, very, very similar series that we run internally, but unfortunately some there's some confidential information there. So I record those videos here that are basically the same, just with one or other thing missing. And to be honest, I know this first slide is always big network update. Oh, but I don't have a lot to update today. There's a lot going on. We're restructuring all of our um, all of our financial model. Uh, we're hiring a new catalyst, which is this position that I occupy right now. We are uh, thinking about transforming um, this platform in which we sell the book, Better Works Together, the book, the Inspiro. Uh, various members of Inspire co-wrote into something more than just a platform that sells one book, but a platform that sells other services. So there's a lot of very interesting things happening, but none of them are in release mode. They're being built. They're, they're almost there. There's, there's some things that are going to start next week. <laughs> I'm sorry, in April. Not much to report, sorry. Uh, but we've been writing a lot. We've been talking about a bunch of uh, about interesting things. So let's jump right into that. There's a lot, a lot of the folks from Greater Than, which is a company that has a lot of Inspiralize as a part of a, a company and a network um, that are helping organize this uh, Creating the Future of Money seminar. Um, it's it, it is all about it, it, exactly this phrase is in, in, on, that was on the screen a second ago, uh, created love within business. I think it's fascinating, and uh, it's organized also by uh, what was his name, Peter Koenig. Peter Peter Koenig. So very interesting, apparently very intense. Uh, and the event happens from the 11th to the 14th of April. So in a couple of days, if you're seeing this as it releases. Uh, we have a new contributor called Prem, and here is um, a, a newsletter with his most recent work. And I wanted to point something very interesting that I found within the many interesting li links here, but I, I wanted to highlight one of them. The very first link here, this one, this Pompeii, led me to this very intense page. But if you click on the number two here on the bottom, you'll get access both here and here to a PDF. And this PDF is a very interesting very novel uh, uh storytelling format that i thought it was interesting for the people inside inspiro and i also wanted to share with you folks here he writes this a big pdf file with a hundred pages but look at the how many how much text you find in a single page it's not a lot uh and he, it reads more or less like you're having a conversation with someone, but also as if you were participating in some sort of theatre play. Uh, it's a very personal way to communicate, and uh, and I've found myself, uh, you know, flowing from one page to the other, to a hundred and something pages, um, in in just I don't know five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, it's um it's an interesting format, and I thought that if especially if you're interested in the uh, communications and, and storytelling and how to communicate effectively with networks i think this is uh, something that you should should check out folks the links are always below don't worry about it just look on the description of the video on youtube okay cool so Mihao wrote this uh, blog post have you ever had that feeling that like ah oh, i'm gonna leave the city and i'm gonna live in a small town next to nature so Mihal did that he, he this is his life and uh, he just moved from a place that was isolated enough to another place that's really isolated um and apparently beautiful with the like, birds singing in his window but with challenges of living in a small place and trying to operate globally and all that so in this blog post here he talks very matter-of-factly about the changes in his life right now what are the things that he's worrying about what are the things that he's building and what are the joys of like look at the picture look at where this man lives uh, <laughs> so what are the challenges and what are the joys uh, of uh, doing this change that is a dream to so many people so if you ever felt that energy, I think it's a good read. 
So Sylvia wrote this article about an, a very intense experience uh, of starting sharing circles bi-weekly. If you've ever been to a sharing circle, you will know that it's a moment of a... Uh, I don't know, you're opening your heart a lot. It's a moment of a, a deep emotional connection. And I've never heard of someone who did that so, so, so frequently. And she talks about uh, the, the opportunities that doing this all um, so frequently brought. And, and there's a lot of uh, mini guides in this article. Like, hey, if you want to organize that, those are the things you need to worry about. Step one, step two, step three. A couple of them here. I found it super useful and um, interested in trying to run an experiment as emotionally intense as this. Cool. Stephen is releasing a new um, course on all things decentralized, DAOs, DeFi's and all that good stuff. Uh, it's not by margin uh, uh, the first uh, course of his that I share here. Uh, he, he's been in this uh, the, the technology of decentralization crowd since the very beginning, really. Um, and uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of novelty in this area these days, right? There's, there's new things happening. And if you're interested in, in paying attention to those things and learning how to operate this world efficiently, I think that's a good call. And to finish off this video, I don't have a moment of zen for you folks today, but I have something that it's, if not as good, or if not better, at least as good, which is a moment of awe. Uh, so somebody shared in our uh, Slack channel this amazing half an hour documentary of this lady who who's really fond of squirrels and she 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 rescues them and she names them and she photographs them and it's, it's just it's so cute and this lady is so 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 passionate uh, that um, it was a wonderful break. From, you know all this tension all of those bad news on the newspapers sometimes we need to connect to some other thing to do some other parts of ourselves and that helped me so i hope it helps you too and i hope i'll see you folks next time ciao